Let's answer question from one of our followers at ito ay kinocomment niya sa isa sa ating post na work problem din naman. Basahin natin yung problem. Julia can finish a project in 10 hours. Yan si Julia. While Ellen can do the same project in 8 hours. How long will it take them to finish the project together? Let me give you two ways kung paano ito isolve. Unahin natin yung pinaka short or shortest way sa pag-solve nito. Isang trabaho kay Julia o isang proyekto niya ay matatapos niya in 10 hours. Si Ellen naman, the same na project matatapos in 8 hours. Ito lang ang shortcut. 10 times 8 divided by 10 plus 8. 10 times 8 equals 80. 10 plus 8 equals 18. Ilist muna natin ito by finding the greatest common factor which is 2. By the way, kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor, meron tayong detalye niyan. So, pwede nyong isearch greatest common factor tapos idugtong lang yung lunalin. So, anyway, 80 divided by 2 and this is 40. 18 divided by 2 and this is 9. So, itong 40 over 9, ito yung 40 over 9 hours. Yan na yung sagot. So, i-simplify lang natin itong 40 over 9. 40 divided by 9. So, this is 4. 4 times 9 equals 36. 40 minus 36 and this is 4. Itong 4, yan yung whole number. Ito naman isang remainder na 4. Yan yung numerator at kopyahin lang si 9 na denominator. So, ang sagot dito ay 4 and 4 over 9 hours. Ma'am, paano naman kung ang sagot mismo ay merong minutes? Hindi lang siya, hindi ganyan ang nasa choices. So, ngayon, doon tayo sa pinakadetalye. Meron na tayong 4 hours. Keep na natin. So, bali ito ay i-convert natin. Meron kasi tayong fraction na 4 over 9. So, i-convert natin in such a way na meron tayong minutes. So, this is 4 and 4 over uh, 9 hours. So, itong 4, yan na yung hours natin. Dito tayo sa 4 over 9 hours. Itong 4 over 9 hours, i-convert natin to to minutes. So, meron tayong... 60 minutes sa isang oras. Cancel na natin yung oras. Ang matitira na lang natin ay minutes. 4 times 60, this is 240. 240 divided by 9. Ma'am, hindi kami nakasunod. Anong ginawa mo? Multiplication of fraction. So, numerator to numerator, 4 times 60, and that is 240. Denominator to denominator, remember, uh, kapag walang denominator yung mismong 60, automatic 1 yan, or 1 naman talagang nandyan. Ang kinansi lang naman natin ay yung R. So, 9 times 1 equals 9. 240 divided by 9, and this is exactly equal to 26 and 6 over 9. By the way, marami na tayong mga videos kung paano i-convert from improper fraction to mixed number. So, ito ay 26 and 6 over 9 minutes. So, si 4 over 9 hours, ang equivalent nito ay 26 and 6 over 9 minutes. By the way, itong 6 over 9, 6 over 9 minutes. Kailangan natin yung simplify by finding the greatest common factor, which is 3. 6 divided by 3, and that is 2. 9 divided by 3, and this is 3. So, 6 over 9 ay pareho lang sa 2 over 3. So, simplified na siya. Next, meron pa rin tayong fraction dyan. So, i-convert natin itong 2 over 3 minutes. 2 seconds. 2 over 3 minutes, i-convert natin to seconds. 
So, 60 seconds ang nasa loob ng isang minuto. So, itong minute na yan, kung i-cancel na natin yan, so second na lang ang natitira. Now, multiplication of fraction. 2 times 60 and this is 120. 1 times, uh, 3 times 1 equals 3. 120 over 3 or 120 divided by 3 and this is 40. So, 40 seconds. Therefore, itong 2 third minutes, ang equivalent nito ay 40 seconds. So, ang final answer dito, yung pinakadetalying answer, ay 4 hours. So, we have 4 hours, 26 minutes, 26 minutes, and 40 seconds. So, ang equivalent dito sa 4 and 4 over 9 hours ay 4 hours, 26 minutes, and 40 seconds. Paano naging shortcut yan, ma'am, ang haba-haba ng pagkasolve mo? Dito lang naman ang mahaba. So, ito lang yung pinaka-shortcut dito. So, ngayon, dito na tayo sa solution number 2. Now, itong solution number 2, ito yung way para maintindihan nyo yung shortcut kung gusto nyo intindihin yung mismong shortcut na yun. So, ito si Jolia. Tapos si Ellen. Si Jolia, isang project niya matatapos in 10 hours. Si Ellen naman, isang project or the same project matatapos niya in 8 hours. Ang tanong, yung the same project na yan, ilang oras ba matatapos kung they work together? Let H, yung number of uh, hours na matatapos nila together sa isang project if they work together. So, i-add natin yung mga fractions bago natin yan i-add. Kailangan natin hihanapin yung least common denominator. Marami na tayong mga detalye niyan. So, pwede nyo ring hanapin least common denominator. Idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na natin upload regarding sa least common denominator. So, ang least common denominator dito ay 40. 40 divided by 10, that is 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 40 divided by 8 and that is 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. Kopyahin lang natin itong 1 over H. So, 4 plus 5 equals 9. So, this is 9 over 40. Again, kopyahin lang natin si 1 over H. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? 9 na project matatapos nila in 40 hours. Ang tanong lang naman, yung isang project na yan. So, i-cross multiply natin to. So, this is 40. 9 times H. And this is 9H. Kopyahin lang natin muna dito. 9H equals 40. Para makuha natin yung value ni H, since si 9 ay pang multiply sa H, pang divide na yan sa 40. In other words, nag-divide tayo ng 9 to both sides para makancel yan siya. H na lang ang natira. Now, H equals 40 divided by 9. Na-solve na natin to. And this is equal to 4 and 4 over 9 hours. At na-solve na, na rin natin yung detalye nito which is equal to 4 hours, 26 minutes, and 40 seconds. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.